welcome back. This is H. This John. I'm here in Sanctuary, and I'm about to uh, do some serious building and adding on. I got comments about things that were left behind uh, in the, the Sagas Ironworks, and I did go pick those up. I've got some clips here uh, showing you two of the things that are in the main room uh, where the final fight is that um, it seems that I missed, but I do go back and loot things off camera, so I'll show you those. Well, as it turned out, I didn't actually have to sleep because I was rested. That's what that icon then means, not that I'm <laughs> in need of sleep. So I put these cots out here. I put uh, nine new beds out here because they were running out of beds. And I planted some more cotton. Corn, I mean. And uh, on top of that, I uh, did some resource stuff. So now what we need to do is do that quest where we build a resource management. Get out of the way, chicken center and in order to do that I need to create that bot so let's craft tools and parts giddy up buttercup now the giddy up buttercup is actually a part that you need for a statue and when you have a statue built it adds like plus 20 to the happiness of your settlement it's ridiculously big, um, but I don't have enough parts. I've got a leg. I need a body. I need another leg. This may be more difficult than I had anticipated. I need a cargo bot, uh, which is built in here. And it's under... Yes. Cargo bot. But in order to build it, I need Robotics Expert 1. I have the stuff for it. Let's look at my stats got one thing to spell sell but I don't think my intelligence is I am one short of the intelligence required to get the robotics expert which is unfortunate so that means I would need two levels in order to finish that quest all right well I thought of an option um, I might reset some of my points uh, and do that because if I reset my points, because I have a an ability that I can I can do that, I can craft an item and then take it and then reset. I can take the point off of Blitz, which I already have that many points in agility in order to get Blitz, but I cannot get Blitz till 13. So why do I have that extra point there? So what I'll do is I'll remove the uh, the point I spent on agility and put it in intelligence, and then I can get robotics so I did that um, you can't really tell the difference because this is always blanked out uh, but I removed one point of agility and moved it over to here and then used my level to get robotics expert level one so now I can make my uh, robot all right as soon as He's done using it. And it was under tools and workshops. Cargo bot workshops. Alright, so I've got all the stuff for it, so I will make one. Alright. And I will try to place it... Well, you know what? Let's put it on the outside. Get rid of these bushes if I can. Yeah. Let's make a little platform right there and then add it on to this. Because it is a resource management and I don't really mind if it's outside in the rain. I'll look under resources. Mm, miscellaneous. Command table resource management. All right, and that's where I need to be. And before I mess things up horribly, let's save the game. And there. 
All right. Resource management. Look at my quest stuff. Resource management table. I do believe that's a resource management. Activate it. All right. It tells me about my water purifiers, lumber mills, stone yards, steel yards, and oil wells. How much fuel I have in the resource management table because it requires fuel uh, in order to operate and, and it uses so many per day. Um, it has a 24 hour cycle. Okay. Engineering and advancing quest. All right. Welcome to the resource management console. So it is sort of a tutorial thing. That's pretty cool. From here, you can manage the production of your resources, such as wood, concrete, steel, and oil. And to be honest, I don't understand why he's doing wood, concrete, and steel, because those are the easiest three things in the entire world to find. Oil, not so much. Different utilities will unlock with additional ranks of trailblazer. Most utilities require fuel in order to gather or produce materials. The maximum amount of fuel you can add is increased with each completed settlement. Fuel can be found in the form of liquid fuel, which is contained in items such as gas can canisters. Resources are produced once every 24 hours. Okay. All right. Earn Trailblazer 1 and return to... Yay, open scores. Let's see what's further down. Check active production management menu. Let's look at this, see what this does. Water production on. Okay, that, that turns it on and off. Okay, next it says earn Trailblazer rank one and return to the resource management table, which I do through the Commonwealth United. Yes. So I have to get the uh, settlement happiness up to 75%. Let me look at here. I'm currently at 75%, but I've only got 12 people. So I need 15 people here and a happiness of 75%. So uh, that is just basically going to be a waiting game. Um, let me look around and build some more stuff. And then we'll come back and uh, do some adventuring. And I am pretty much ready to go, and we'll pick up uh, action here at the Museum of Freedom. All right, well, here I am in Concord at the Museum of Freedom, and actually I'm at the church next door, and I thought I might go take a look and see if there was anything cool in here that I could, uh, could snag. Books, packing material... Somewhere in the background. Oh! Pipe rifle. Junk. Don't buy many of those anymore. Ooh. Ah, oh, I don't think I can open this. Yeah, it's too difficult. Oh, well. I could detonate, but I don't have any explosives. And the answer is no. Nothing up here worth finding whatsoever. Uh, I don't see any bad guys out there either. All right, well, we'll go back down and go on down the road. Really bright, hard to see. Entering Concord now. <laughs> Sign on the way out. Always looked like there might be an ambush up there. Ah, I believe this might actually be Trash Can Carla the Merchant. Sweet. Let's give her a talk. Hey. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Uh, barter. Let's see what you've got. Oh, I have a little bit of everything. All right, well, you know, this is uh, pretty cool. I'll give a look through here, and then we'll continue on. Well, I didn't buy anything, but I did sell my ammunition to her. My extra ammunition, because stuff is expensive. All right, cool. 
and we'll keep going south along the road, and I think the Drumlin Diner is going to come up next. We'll see how that ends up. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has whoa, done whoa. to my boy? Whoa, whoa. Easy there, Scabber. This doesn't involve you. Um... You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it Ooh. easy. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. Gee, thanks. There she is. <clears throat> I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Well, there's some explosions going about. Look, you owe the money. If you just pay them, then this will be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. I got a better idea. You take care of Wolfgang. I'll pay you a hundred caps to put a bullet between his eyes. And why, and why should I help you? Look, this place might not look it, but caravans come through here, okay? I have supplies. You help me, we can trade for whatever you need. All right, Trudy. I'll get rid of him. All right, Trudy. I'll get rid of him. Thank you. I'll back you up from here. Go get him. Uh -oh. Let's see what happens. Stick, stick, stick. Oh! This time. All right. Huh? No point in leaving that for the scavenger. Good point there, Preston. Let's see what you have. A little bit of everything. All right. Mm, yeah, she's got some good ammo and whatnot. Does she have a crossbow? We got the new crossbows installed in this game. Ooh, look at that. And it's cheap. Holy cow, is it cheap. It's an explosive one. Ooh. But I bet I can buy it and then modify it so it's not an explosive bolt one. Huh. Yeah, well that's super cheap, so I'm definitely gonna buy that. Even though I can't afford I can't I can't use the <laughs> uh, Yeah, I can't do that. But anyway. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That cost me 213. What? <sighs> Not funny. All right, well, I'm going to have to do a little horse wrangling here. Oh, well, basically, I traded all my extras and a whole bunch of food that I really can't eat, uh, except for the chicken, egg, and rad roach omelets, which is actually pretty good. Uh, but they're very, very expensive, so I want the money. Confirm that trade. All right. Well, that's a good deal. This is actually one of my first heart-to-hearts with uh, one of my companions. What is it? When we first met, I admit, I had my doubts about you. But you've done nothing but impress me. You're just who the Minutemen needed to bring us back from the brink. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. You've probably realized by now how important the Minutemen are to me. When I was a kid, the Minutemen were my heroes. Even after everything, I still believe that the Minutemen can be what I always thought they were. The good guys. We are the good guys. We're doing our best. And a lot of it has to do with your example. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, thanks. Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Anytime, Preston. Thanks, man. We probably better get back to it. All right. Well, let's carry on with our mission. All right. Got some mongrels here. Um, one down. Just keep your. 
until I get all of them. Oh, I couldn't get that one. Yeah, I did get that one though eventually. All right. They aren't gonna need that anymore. Kind of came out of nowhere. All right, keep going this way. Railroads tracks. You know, railroad tracks are always safe. Well, I'm here at Grey Gardens, and I found the robot I need to talk to. That's pretty ingenious. I bet you can work around the clock. Never seen anything like this. Of course, darling. Our unique hierarchy allows for constant operation. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making, a testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. Awesome. I'll have a conversation and we'll eventually get a mission from them. All right. All right. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Most of our water comes from the old Western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. All right. Person loved that. Completed. And now we have a new mission. Troubled Waters. I'm going to investigate the, the treatment plant. Um, actually, I need to sleep, so... But I'm not that bad off yet, so we'll... Get a little bit closer to the plant because it's just down the road a ways. Just right here. We'll get a little closer to the plant and uh, probably that'll be enough to end the episode. We're approaching it and there's this trailer here, but I, I can't get into it because it's an advanced. And if you'll notice right over there are a couple of deer. So let us see if we can get a couple of deer with one grenade. Oh, I don't have any grenades on me. So, let's try it and... Hold up. Found you. Alright. I've only got a couple of rounds for this. But hopefully I'll get some... some uh, meat off that. I do have their survival. Yeah! And a hide. Awesome. And we'll sneak a little bit closer before we end the uh, episode. Take a look at our next step in the process. I don't think I've ever fought super mutants before. But there's plenty of them. Oh yeah. And there's a car tumbling. Oh, it probably fell off of there. Yeah, there's a lot of scary guys over there. Uh, and we'll have to see uh, just how well we handle this in our next episode. Well, actually, let's try to sh headshot one of them and see what happens. Huh. He went down with one shot. And I am cautioned that I'm going to sit still and hopefully get away with this. But if not, we'll find out in the next episode. This is Ageless John playing Horizon in Fallout 4. And I'll see you around. <laughs>